so full of people and has become as a widow once honored by the world princess among the provinces noblest of cities she has become tributary fallen to slavery jerusalem cries bitterly and wails in the night with her tears on her cheeks there is no one to comfort her from her lovers and all her friends have dealt treacherously with her they've become enemies and those in praise have gone into captivity also in humiliation in afflictions and servitude she dwells in all nations she finds no rest and all of her persecutors have them overtaken her in the midst of all her distresses the way of zion do ye mourn grief for the narrow way that none are gathered or attain to the appointed day all her gates are made desolate her priests are the virgins are afflicted and she is in sorrow and bitterness her adversary is the chief her enemies prosper for the lord has afflicted her for all her transgressions her children have been taken in captivity to thee adversary and enemy and from the daughter of zion all her beauty is gone her princes have become like deer that can find no pasture they have fled without strength from them that in pursuit of her cornered and overcame jerusalem remembered in days of her affliction and of her miseries all her pleasant things that she had in time passed before her people fell to the enemy and there was none that did help her the adversary saw her did mock the appointed time made fun of the rapture 
Jerusalem grievously sinned, therefore she is removed. All that honored her despise her, because they have seen her. Nakedness and her hidden parts, she groans and hides her face. Her filth covers all her clothing, she thought not on her end. Her downfall was miraculous, her comforter removed. O Lord, behold my affliction, my enemy is great. The adversary laid their hands on all of her treasures, for she has been a witness that the beast has entered in. Her sanctuary whom thou did command not to enter, to thy congregation all her People sigh, they seek bread. They've given their pleasant things for me to relieve the soul. See, O oh Lord, and consider, for I am become vile. It's nothing to you, all ye that pass by, behold and see. If there is any sorrow that which is done unto me, that is like unto my sorrow, as the Lord afflicted. In the day of his fierce anger, from above he has sent fire into my bones, and it has prevailed against them. He has spread a net for my feet, he's turned me back again. He has made me desolate and to faint all the day long. The yoke of my transgression is bound by his hand they are. Woven and wrapped around my neck, he made my strength to fall. To their hands God delivered me. I can't rise up at all. The Lord has trodden underfoot all of my strong allies. He has called an assembly to crush all my young men. The Lord has trodden the virgin, the daughter of Judah. In a wine press for they do weep, mine eye, mine eye does run. Down with what 
Comforter because of thee, Comforter that should he Relieve my soul is far from me, My children have been made. Desolate for the enemy, has prevailed over me. Zion spreads her hands out, but there is none to comfort her. The Lord commanded concerning Jacob's adversaries that they should be round about him. Jerusalem is a menstruous woman among them, but the Lord is righteous, for I have rebelled against his commandment. Here I pray. You all And all the young men are gone into captivity I called. For my lovers, they deceived me, my priests and mine elders gave up the ghost in the city while seeking strong meat to relieve their souls behold O Lord for I am in distress my bowels are troubled my heart is turned within me for I have rebelled, yes, I have rebelled outside the sword berries. At home there is famine and death, they have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me, all my enemies have heard. Of my trouble they are glad that you have done it, you will. Bring the day that you have called and they'll be like unto me. Let all of their wickedness come before thee do unto them as you have done unto me. For all my transgressions, for my sighs are many, and my heart is faint within me. The Lord in his anger covered the daughter of Zion with a dark cloud in his anger, its heavenly splendor. He has turned into ruins on the day of his anger, and abandons his own temple, the church is